Hi guys. I know Hussam Abbas is making a little fire truck uh, using a little electric pump to squirt some water and he's going to use an infrared remote control to switch it on and off. So I'm not going to make a fire truck but I'm going to just put together the basics so we can see how it's going to work. I've got some plastic tubing that should fit into the pump. I'm just going to use this small container to actually hold the water because I don't want to have loads of it squirting around everywhere. I've got my infrared controlled relay set. We only need one of these relays. There's actually four on the board here. That's the infrared um, detector. That's the power to actually power this electronics. So I've got three AAA batteries there with a plug on them that plugs in there nicely. Get it the right way round. You see the power comes on. To power the pump, I'm going to use my rechargeable 9 volt battery. And to connect to the 9 volt battery, I'm going to take apart this old 9 volt battery so I can get the connector off the top. Solder some leads onto it. And then put the leads. Let's show you. Black is usually negative, so we'll connect that to the negative side, and I'll take that straight to the pump. Red will go to the positive, and I'll take that into the relay, and then the other lead will come out of the relay to the other side of the pump. So that to complete the circuit we have to operate the relay, and we do that by pressing the button on the remote control and that will switch the relay on and off. So first thing I'm going to do is take this apart so I can get the end plate off it. I've done a little help file on how to do this but I'll do it live. So I've got a pair of pliers or nippers. We can just peel away the edge of the metal casing. Do be careful, this is sharp. slides out. There are a couple of different types of batteries but I won't go through them just now. But there we have the connector. So I can solder my red and black wires on there and then use that to connect onto the good battery. need a soldering iron now because I'm going to solder these wires onto here. And to make sure that the solder grips properly, I'm just going to use a small file to clean the surface. And we don't need all this bit up here, so I'll cut that off. Insulation off. And then this is called tinning the conductors. It's just making sure you've got a good layer of solder on there before you start trying to solder it together. And the same on here. It's easier if you got it held in place. And make sure you know which one's the minus and which one's the plus. It 
So I'm going to put the red wire on the plus side. Just make sure that's got plenty of. Yes, that's taken well. And the black wire on the minus side. cool down. What I will do is I'll put a layer of hot glue over that to keep it um, insulated. Right, the other ends we now want the black wire to go directly to the motor. The motor's got a red mark for the positive side and a black mark, for, well there's no black mark there, but red for the positive. It might just have a little cross on it, or it might just have some other coloured paint, but they usually mark the positive terminal. You could wrap the wires round here, but I'm going to solder them. So again, Tinning it first, and tin our conductors. Okay, and then we're going to need a red one on the positive side. need to mount this somehow. I'll probably just use blue tack at the moment because this is only a temporary setup. So, the battery's going to fit right up at that end. This is number one relay, so I need to connect my red wires up to there. I've tinned the conductors. Didn't, didn't have to do it, but it makes it easier to put them into the screw holes. Holds the wires together. Right, I know that I've put those into the right terminals because the motor didn't start straight away. If we just do a little test, connect the power. And then press the remote and we should hear the motor. So that's okay. Now I need to drill a hole in there, well two holes actually, one to take the water pipe and the other to let the air in. Because if there's no air going in there you'll get a vacuum and you won't be able to pump the water out. So I'll just drill two holes in there. In fact the quick way to do that, smelly but quick,
All right, that should do. Now the question is, which of the two pipes or connectors does this connect to? That one or that one? And I'm pretty confident that the water going in goes to that one and the water coming out comes out of that one. Now I actually think this pipe's a little bit big for these connectors. It's just some that I had already. So I might wrap a little bit of wire around there to hold it in place. I'll try and do this in close-up mode so you can see what I'm doing. That should help to hold the tube in place, stop it sliding off. I'll use a rubber band to stop this sliding out. I want to try and make sure the water definitely sprays away from the electronics. You could put this in a plastic bag or cover it with plastic or something to keep the water away from it. But I'm just going to use a bent paper clip, which I'll hot glue under the front here, and wrap it round the bit of tubing that's going to point forwards. We're in the bath, all connected up, all ready. I've put some water in the little container. We're about to find out whether I've got the pipes the right way round. I'm also not sure whether this is a self-priming pump as they call it. So we'll find out whether it can actually suck the water through and then push it out. So, switch it on. Yep, yeah, that worked. And it emptied that little container very quickly. But that suits me fine, because I didn't want to be squirting water for ages. So, job done. Just tip that up, so that you can see the way the wires go. So the black wire goes all the way from the battery, round, straight to the motor. The red wire goes through the relay contacts and then onto the motor. So that's the power for the motor. And sitting on top of the relays there, I've got my three AAA batteries that power the electronics of the switch. And that's it. Hope that helps.